So my favorite Pokemon, well, one of my favorite Pokemon is Squirtle, and it's because Blastoise is the reason why I really got into um, drawing and art. So I guess you can say I need to thank Blastoise for getting me to where I am today. But um, this tutorial is really simple. You can go to Michael's and pick up a shell just like this for around $3. And you don't have to do Squirtle. You can do any other Pokemon. But um, don't forget to check out my Pikachu version um, that's surfing because I think I like that one a lot better. But we'll see what happens. So with the shell, you want to definitely decorate it. You don't want it to be very bland. Um, it's your base if anything so you can even add seashells but for me I chose to do bubbles if you watch the anime um, of course Squirtle does bubble beam I think but um, that's why I chose to do bubbles and he's water type too so it just fits in perfectly but here you want to start off with your clay obviously you want to start off with the head because I feel like it's the easiest part of the body you just have to get all the features right and then you can just put that aside and you can work on the body and the legs and the arms. So here I'm just making sure that I'm adding all the details because Squirtle does have a lip, um, like a what is it, like a tortoise. So um, you want to add that in there if you're doing Squirtle. And then of course there is also the glasses. But um, with the glasses, it's a little bit different. What you're going to do is you're going to flatten out the piece of clay, and then you're going to cut it out with your exacto. Now, the size is the key thing because you don't want it to be too big or too small. So you want to occasionally check, um, place it on the head, and if it's too big, you want to, of course, trim it down. So for me, um, this is the perfect size. You know, I definitely placed it on the head, double check to see if everything was okay, and then adjust it accordingly. Now the proportions for Squirtle is the key thing because you really don't want the body to be too big. Um, what I found out is that it's actually almost the same size as his head, um, but it's a little bit bigger. And then of course you want to also carve in the details for the front shell and the back shell. So I think that's why it took longer than expected because there is so much details in his um, shell. And to get the designs, I just googled Squirtle and then the designs will pop up for the front and back. Now, definitely, like I said, take your time because if you don't get the proportions right for the head to the body, it's going to look really funky and um, I'm pretty sure you want your figurine to turn out really neat. So once you have all that carved out, of course, Squirtle has a shell lining and um, you want to do the arms first and the legs because you can do the lining of the shell um, around his body parts. So for Squirtle, I chose to do a um, posture of him, you know, kind of like pointing up in the air, um, looking really badass, but um, it's up to you how you want Squirtle to look like. Um, I just went off of a picture that I saw for Squirtle Squad, and um, I went and did that pose. So for you, you can do whatever you want this is your figurine and you know just have fun with it be creative and um, you know it's Squirtle so <laughs> Squirtle's one of the best Pokemon of course since this video is edited you don't see me basically struggling with the legs because I definitely spent the most time trying to adjust the legs I think it's because his legs are really stubby and um, they just didn't look right so, um, a key thing for here, or a tip, is that if it doesn't look right while the clay is soft, you can definitely go back into it and carve it out when you do fire the figurine. So don't worry if you don't get it right. I actually just placed the legs on there and then I just trimmed it down um, when I fired it. So that's a neat trick for you guys um, if you ever do make a figurine. But of course, you know, Overall, it's going to look really good, especially if you put a lot of time and effort. So this is what the figurine looks like after it's been fired. And once it's fired, you can go and begin painting it, which of course you want to add the base coats. Um, and you want to work in layers. So of course the more layers you add, the stronger and more durable your figurine will be. Just because if it does fall 
or um, break or you know something like that it won't take as much damage now I didn't record myself painting the whole figurine because this tutorial is long enough um, more so than it needs to be and um, it was kind of boring but painting is really easy um, or of course you can use pre-colored clay but it's up to you um, painting's my favorite I definitely hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you definitely have any questions about making figurines or anything about clay just comment below um, I am selling this in my store so check it out it's not that expensive I'm making it around $45 and that includes shipping as well. So uh, thanks again for watching. I hope you guys liked my Squirtle Squad figurine. And um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.